so I don't like going where I can't order what I want to order. <laughs> My stomach hurts so bad. Hi, hope you're having a wonderful day. Today's video is something that's been going around. I'm sure if you watch YouTube, you know what I'm talking about. We are going to let the people in front of us decide what we're having for dinner and for dessert. This makes me very nervous. Because of this video, most likely we will have a cheat day. I'm also really hungry because I got up at 5.30 this morning and I've just been hungry ever since. I even had you guys vote on Instagram between Chipotle or Chick-fil-A. Chipotle won by two votes. You voted. And if you didn't vote, make sure you follow me on Instagram so that you can vote next time we do one of these challenges. But Chris is really excited because he loves Chipotle. Chipotle is my absolute favorite place to eat on the planet. And I'm a little nervous <laughs> because I get the same thing every time. And if this sucks, I'm gonna be very upset. Yeah, because we never go with me because I don't like yeah. I, I mean, I like Chipotle, I just don't really have anything flavorful to eat there. I really hope the person in front of me has some sort of cheese on their thing. This is a cheat meal, I want cheese. You're probably gonna eat like the kids tacos. Oh man. Okay, I can't get up, I need help. Also, still injured. <sighs> okay, so we're headed to Chipotle. Now, I kind of feel like the reason most people don't do Chipotle is because we actually have to get out of the car in order, so now we feel even more weird. Hmm. Us, because we're gonna be like, what did they have in front of us? No, that's easy. You just go. I'll have what he's have. That looks good. I'll have what that guy had. That's awkward. Can we eat in the car? We're gonna do this, and then we're gonna probably do. Do you wanna do donuts or do you wanna do ice cream? Donuts, I think. I'm really nervous because I'm so hungry right now, and all I want is something comforting because I don't feel so good. I also see McDonald's across the street because, like, how badly can you mess up McDonald's orders? You get a, a fish, a, a fillet of fish. Oh, I like fillet of fish. <laughs> I grew up on that. Delicious. We're on some fillet of fish. Baked bread. <laughs> fillet of fish. As long as you got French fries with my meal at McDonald's, I'm good. What fish that is actually? It's just white fish. It's like the fish sticks that you get at in the frozen food section. Or Taco Bell. You can't really mess up Taco Bell either. Yeah, Taco Bell's a hard one to mess up. Why did we choose something that could really be bad? You really can't screw up Taco Bell. You really can't screw up McDonald's. Oh God, this is why everybody picked like fast food like that. Cause Chipotle, what if they did hot sauce? Like they do the hot, spicy, spicy salsa. I am gonna have tummy problems if we. <laughs> yeah, I don't want corn. You have to if they if they picked it. You'll have to eat around it. He's don't the like world, messing with my food. He's the world's pickiest eater. This is actually a good challenge for you. <laughs> it, accentuate your palate. Nothing wrong with my palate. <laughs> I think there's something wrong with your palate. You eat like a five year old particular with what I eat. Yeah. I know what I like. You mean like a <laughs> LA five-year-old? I know what I like. Five-year-olds don't like sushi. I like sushi. LA five-year-olds like sushi. Yeah, that's true. But they won't eat like uni. chips but no guacamole and um, this looks like a burrito bowl with the tortilla inside and then rice chicken medium sour cream and cheese and since there's nobody else ahead of us Chris got the same thing so you kind of don't understand the rules she did not order a soda this was a food not <laughs> food. I ordered the food Chris doesn't get the concept 
I got the food. I was so nervous about how bad this could have gone that I drove past the Chipotle closest to our house. Um, yeah, you were like off yeah. going somewhere else, and I'm like, where are you going? I was very nervous. Is it? It's good. Oh, she didn't get beans. I literally said whatever you have. I think um, he forgot. It's actually really good. But How about probably because I haven't had real cheese or sour cream. Yeah. In a while. Or rice. Oh. I don't quite understand the... The carbs are delicious. Yeah. I don't understand the... Um, the tortilla. I don't know what to do with it. Yeah, like I either need it. <laughs> have it wrapped up or not because now it's kind of it's just in the way it's like it's like a skirt for your bowl. so i was watching her and she looked like she was eating it yeah she, she was like, she was like it yeah and then like using it to wrap it but then she got it. chips too i'm confused i don't know what to do with the chips i know what to do with the chips enjoy them Never tried this. If it wasn't for this challenge, refining not that far off from what I normally get. Refining your palate. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. So Chris is actually eating the rest of my bowl. Well, delicious. That was more carbohydrates than I've had in like six months. We well, also ate mine. Yeah, my stomach feels really full, but we're gonna go get donuts because it's cheat day. If I'm gonna do a cheat meal, I'm gonna do it right. Burn that stomach ache. Thank you, random stranger, for your delicious burrito bowl with the weird tortilla shell on the bottom. I ate the tortilla, well, part of it. It was good. And the chips with no guac, which... Who has chips without guac? He like, ate most of it. Apparently you. No, I ate it, but like, I wouldn't have ordered it. I think she uses it to scoop it, but then she tears the tortilla and like Yeah, it was, it. it didn't make sense because she had the tortilla to tear, and then she had the chips. Yeah, I, but I was watching her eat it, and that's how she was eating it. You know, it was delicious. Good for you. So plan C, we're gonna go to Salt and Straw. Mm -hmm. And I really hope the person in front of us does not order some weird goat cheese flavor. That's just un-American. Or you could say it's very American. <laughs> no! <laughs> what? So I don't like going where I can't order what I want to order. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta tell you, I don't like this. Are you sweating? Not yet, but it's my my hands are wet. My hands are sweaty. Mm. Is that your nervous face? <laughs> so this is actually a vegan flavor. It's a coconut base, coconut cream base. That's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. It's dairy free so I won't have a horrible tummy ache. Yeah. Although I don't get tummy aches from their ice creams typically. So it's chocolatey and then there's hazelnut. Very coconutty. Yeah. It's not bad though. It looks more chocolatey than it is. It almost tastes like a brownie was in there. Mm -hmm. Um, that was really cute because the girl, I was like, what did they get? <laughs> like, I I'll get like, the intel. I feel like she either knew what we were doing or was very fun. And yeah. Either way, fun. <laughs> Are you gonna try it? Yeah. Very coconut. It's actually really good. It's growing on me. Yeah, I don't like it. It's nice. But very coconut. What's wrong? <laughs> Weezer or something just fell like right in front of my face. <laughs> okay, let's walk to the car before us both got a double I don't know what that girl got but it was two different flavors on a cone and I would have done that except I normally well, technically she wasn't the person in front of us the guy was the guy was and we were just gonna split it if it was a double if it was a single we would have each gotten whatever the person but I don't I'm glad we just split this because there's no way we're gonna eat all that no not at all because normally we both get singles but yeah this is pretty good it's not something I normally would get but it's really good mm-hmm what did we learn from this experiment? I don't like not being able to choose my own food. He was struggling, guys. Like, I just don't like it. You really were like having issues. Yeah. Everybody in front of us had really good taste. Mm-hmm. So thank you, strangers. And should we do this for a full 24 hours? Nope. <laughs> I'm very particular with what I eat. 
because I try to maintain somewhat of a reasonable diet. So am I. We wouldn't do it for at least another two weeks. It comes time to eat. Like, I like to enjoy what I'm going to be eating. True. I found that I was really nervous because I knew that I was going to have to eat whatever the person in front of me ate. And my diet's so particular Monday through Friday. Mm -hmm. So we usually have one cheat day a week. And even then, it's really only two meals. If that, usually it's like one meal and a snack. So when we say we're going to cheat, I want control over yeah. what my calories are going to be. I don't want to waste calories on something that I'm not going to absolutely enjoy and love. Didn't you learn that today wasn't bad? It was only not bad out of sheer chance. We could have just as easily gotten behind someone who had the... Oh, I took a picture of the menu. We could have just as easily gotten someone in front of us that ordered the black olive brittle and goat cheese ice cream. That's the one Sarah got. <laughs> oh. It was like salty and cheesy. It was like tangy and salty. No. How many thumbs up do we have to get for us to do 24 hours of this? 100,000 new subscribers. <laughs> We have like, we don't even have 15,000 on this channel. Exactly. What should we do next? I was gonna try fasting for 24 hours. That's not tough though. I mean, it's tough, but like we could do um, that. Um, no, not when I wake up at 5.30 in the morning. I've been starving all freaking day. No social media or phone, no cell phone for 48 hours. How do you wanna work? <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Lots of people have done it. Um, Ashley from Best Dress did it for an entire week. She figured it out. No social media or cell phone for 48 hours. This is the problem. I won't be able to leave the house because I won't be able to find my way home <laughs> without my phone. That's true. What would you like to see us do? Should I eat like Whitney Simmons for a day? Well, I feel like she's probably not she that eats a lot. She eats a lot more carbs. Oh. But complex carbs? Sweet potato? Oatmeal. She starts okay. with oatmeal. Is there like a fitness person that you'd like me to eat like for a day? Let's not do anything crazy because, you know, I'm still trying to get fit at 35. So I wouldn't want to do anything where it's like major binge eating or... No, that's not healthy. I don't, I don't support that at all. Like, it's unhealthy and it's super like gluttonous. I mean, as we sit here and eat ice cream. We're sharing a cup. <laughs> Go follow us on Instagram. Our handles are linked below and across here. Ice cream. Can I have it? Let us know in the comments what you want to see next. You guys want, I want to do a breathing video. Like remember that breathing thing we yeah, did? Yeah, everyone's going to fall asleep. Like the, um, you use it to go to sleep. Kind of like what they do with the facials to relax. That breathing that we did was awesome. It's called meditation. A few moments later. My stomach hurts so bad. <laughs> <laughs> My stomach doesn't hurt, but I've been gassy since I got home. What did we eat? I don't know. Oh, it made my stomach hurt. <laughs>